for joining me. And we are going to be talking about how long do you plan on living in that body? And many times we um, think that we're doing the right things by eating what's in the grocery store, but is it what's in season? And is it what your body needs, right? Is it something that is okay for your body to be eating, um, to be consuming? Is it giving your body any nutrition? You have people that promote um, the energy drinks. You have people that are promoting the, um, uh, what's the other thing? basically things that have a lot of caffeine in them and that are not good for your body long term, not even short term, if you want to know the, the truth. What we should be doing is taking care of our bodies, being conscious, being aware of what our bodies need on a regular basis is what we should be doing not doing things short term to um, get a rush or a fix for some reason i look like i'm cricket on um, but making sure that we're doing what is right for our bodies so what do you eat on a regular basis right this is autumn and if I, I didn't introduce myself, I'm Natasha L. Brown for New Peace Wellness. I'm a holistic evangelist, healing advocate, as well as an author, transformational speaker. And we are here just to encourage you. The things we post here on Instagram and on YouTube um, give you insight into what you need for your body. And we definitely year round, we need to hydrate. And hydrating is beautiful, but what are you hydrating with? What type of water? And many people don't even think about hydrating with different types of water, right? You don't want to do the alkaline water for long periods of time, especially the alkaline water that is being sold on the shelves, because many times those are at such a high pH it's doing more damage to your body than good. So be mindful, um, like in this season, autumn, we should be drinking um, spring water as well as alkaline water. And you want to rotate, you want to do, because um, your body actually gets used to it. If you pay attention to drinking the water, after a while, you don't feel any um, nutritional value. You should feel a difference in your body. Your body is not absorbing it the way it should. So be mindful of what you are taking in. So um, we are going to talk about why we should be cleansing in spring and autumn versus why we should be detoxing in winter and summer, right? And we just came out of a um hello angela we just came out of a detox for summer it was a beautiful um program we took a group of people through a summer detox and it actually was making sure that our house was prepared for um autumn and winter and not just our the home we live in but our house our physical house that we were prepared because as we come into the cooler months definitely you have more respiratory issues people in the um, emergency rooms and hospitals because of respiratory issues and a main organ for autumn is guess what your lungs and if you work on your lungs and you love your lungs during this time especially if you have lung issues this is the time to actually heal those issues this is the time to make sure that you are doing what you need to do in order to to heal them um as well as your large intestines. So what's beautiful is the way God made us, um, since we have a new body every seven days and certain organs do certain things um, every so many days, so many weeks, so many months, and so many years, if we give our body what we need and everything we consume, whether it's through our eye gates, our ear gates, um, it's consuming orally, we should be making sure it's giving us nutrition is feeding us life and not death. And it's encouraging our body to do what it needs to do as far as transform. And I saw someone on Instagram um, taking an IV, making sure that their immune system was um, ready for whatever they were getting ready to do. And if you're only focusing on the immune system, you're leaving the entire body out because we have more than one system, right? We have 
um, the immune system, you have the digestive system, the endocrine system, muscular system, um, let's see, respiratory, which is something we should be focusing on this season. You have several different um, systems that you should be working on. Hello, sister. Working on instead of just focusing on the one system. So if you focus on the ecosystem, which is your entire body, then you're making sure every cell in your body gets what it needs. If every cell in your body is getting what it needs, then you are going to be better equipped for each season. And when when you're better equipped for each season, you are expanding your life. And the beautiful thing is when I thought about how long do you want to live in this body? We don't think about that. The average span for a human is between 60 and 70 years. And that's if you are doing what you need to be doing. But if you're constantly feeding cancerous cells, if you're constantly feeding whatever the diagnosis is, taking the stance and the mindset that, um, you know, you have to die from something, which you really don't. Too many examples biblically where people decided they were going to die. They got in the bed. They put their feet up after they blessed their family and they transitioned. No illness, no pain, no suffering. They just transitioned. And we can decide when we want to transition. And you can do it in a way that's not detrimental, that's not traumatic, that's not long-term suffering, you can just ease into your next stage of life, right? And we don't encourage that enough. But the creature on earth with the shortest lifespan is the mayfly, which um, has a 24 hour or less lifespan. The creature on earth with the longest lifespan is the Greenland shark, which is 270 years. So in between that time, there are many other creatures that have different lifespans. And since we are the creature with the dominion over other creatures, we've been given that by um, God himself, we should definitely know how to take care of our bodies. So cleansing during this time, because this spring and autumn are transitional seasons into a harsher time, right? Spring introduces us into a time right before summer hits, which is more extreme in heat than spring would be. Um, autumn introduces us into a time for winter, which is a more extreme cold versus what autumn is. And depending on where you live in Georgia, sometimes we don't get into winter until what, January, February, um, if if it's going well. So be mindful of what the seasons are doing will literally reflect on what your body is doing. And if you keep in mind that we are currently in a particular season and you eat with what's in season. And it was so easy to do before grocery stores. Grocery stores um, may be 100 years old, but they were not always a staple. We ate what was local and regional. We ate what farmers had in our area. We ate what was at the market where we could go, right? But now you can eat food from around the world with no problem, out of season. And we don't even think about the effect that it has on the body. But if there's any illness or dis-ease in the body, eating in season will help you recover quicker, right? Especially if you're hydrated. But what you want to keep in mind is autumn is a time for cleansing. You want to do something that's milder, not as aggressive on the body because of the simple fact that we are transition. It's a transitional season. Um, some of the foods that you can be focusing on, um, as well as the water, and we mentioned the water, but some of the foods you could be focusing on would be microgreens, your um, autumn squash, Butternut squash, definitely, because you can do many things with butternut squash. Butternut squash soup is excellent. Um, my pastor makes a butternut squash pie. I am not big on baking, but I hear it's really good. Um, so you can definitely get a good recipe. And if you can, try to find it dairy-free. Because again, we're in a respiratory season, so you want to take care of your lungs. So you don't want to have the dairy creating mucus. In, during this time of the season. So if you're looking for any recipes, if you can find them dairy free, you'll be doing much better. But butternut squash is something good. You can even just roast the butternut squash and eat it. It's really sweet. Um, also radish. Radishes are good this time of the year. 
Um, turnip greens and sunchoke are um, Jerusalem artichokes. And the shun sunchokes are just the root of the sunflower, which they're really good roasted as well. And you can roast those really good. Um, you can actually do those um, sunchokes, endive, um, fennel, and your butternut squash and throw in your radish. All of that can be um, roasted and not necessarily together. You wanna um, make sure the sun chokes are a little harder um, than the rest of those and eat in season. There are many different things you need. The list is a little longer, but for time um, purposes, we'll only go over those few. Those are a few of the things you could be eating this time of the season, this time of the year, which are jungletarian foods, which are healthier foods, which give your body the life it needs, and they actually have what your body needs this time of the year. Also, we mentioned the, um, the large intestines and the lungs. So breathing, doing breath work during the season, and I have some videos on my YouTube channel um, for breathing, and I can do another one that'll be um, more focused on um, autumn. But breathing, knowing how to breathe as adults is vital. And many of us breathe so shallow, we don't get a full deep breath, you know, hold it for a while and then letting it out either through your mouth or through your nose, depending on what the purpose of the, breath, the breathing is. But breathing fully, is going to be vital during this season as well. Utilizing our lungs appropriately, not just shallow breathing. Um, and most times we're not aware of breath, but taking time to just breathe deeply and be mindful as we're breathing deeply. You can do this before your devotional time. You can do this um, before you answer a question, especially if it's an intense situation. Take a deep breath. It helps clear the mind. It helps get you back centered. It helps you remind. It helps remind you who you are and who created you, because that was the first gift God gave man was breath. He breathed life into us. And that's the first gift every baby gets when they come out of the birth canal or even if it's a cesarean. When they're pulled out, that breath is the first thing they get. That's how we, this is a sign of life. So make sure you are taking care of your entire ecosystem, not just your immune system this time of the year, but your entire body, because you don't want your immune system to be um, built up. And then in many of the things that people are recommending um, for you to build up your ecosystem are not even herbs that are in season. Focusing on the bitter herbs are the herbs that your body needs during this time. There, there's so much that we can take talk about. And we'll be starting our autumn um, cleanse in a couple of weeks. And I'll do another post and let you know when we get started with that. But again, working on the entire ecosystem, every part of your being, because God created us whole. He didn't create us in pieces. So if we focus on the entire body, we'll get more out of what we're doing versus just working on one or two systems. As most people would have you think, just building up the immune system will keep you healthy. But during this time and, and for always, not just because of um, what's supposedly outside of our homes and what's supposedly going on in the world, but always making sure our entire bodies. And if we teach our children to focus on their entire body and not just their immune system, they would do better in schools. You know, you go to school every year when they start school, you get a lot of runny noses, especially in um, daycares and um, your elementary school with the younger children, you see a lot of runny noses, crusty noses. All of that comes from what has been eaten. Many things that they're serving in the cafeterias um, produce that mucus. The, the milk, the dairy products, you know, um, pizza day, I used to love pizza day, but the dairy is not good for our bodies, especially this time of the year. And what happens is one person gets sick and they begin to spread it to other people. And then you have everybody is sick. What we are doing as far as washing the hands is beautiful, but being mindful of what we eat is more powerful.
So not telling you not to wash your hands, but, you know, that's just like taking care of one system in the body and not all the systems. If we're only washing our hands, yet we're still eating foods that's creating mucus, creating the runny noses, creating the cough, creating the cold, creating a weakness in the body, and then saying that we're working on the immune system, it defeats the purpose. So making sure we're taking care of the entire body eating what we need and what works for the body, because what works for you may not work for me. What works for me may not work for you. So listening to your body, our bodies tell us what we need. Our bodies will warn us before we ingest something be that it's not good for us. But yet still, you know, some people, oh, it only gives me heartburn. I know what to take for it. But why not not get the heartburn, right? Why avoid, um, uh, we should avoid eating what we know makes us sick. It's almost insanity. Well, it is insanity to, to eat the same thing over and over, knowing it's making you sick, but yet and still you do it. But just wanted to give a few tips. We won't get into that because that's a whole nother thing. But just wanted to give you a few tips on how to take care of your entire ecosystem, your body from the top of your head to the sole of your feet, not just one system, but all of your systems, knowing what to eat and what not to eat. And dairy is not something we should be eating um, at, at all, unless it is, um, you know, you have milk, nut milks. So if you have a nut allergy, then you have to do something different. But your nut milks would be better than cow's milk because even the calf doesn't drink the mother's milk after so many months. So why should we continue to drink it? Right. And we give it to our children and some children have to go um, on several different types of milk until they can find what works for them, which is a sign. It's letting you know that that milk may be making them sick. And um, some children can't do any form of dairy. They can do um, maybe goat's milk, right? And then you have all of the other forms of milk that are coming up. I know hemp milk is really good. Um, that's something that I was using at one time. But we don't actually have to have dairy products. So keep in mind what you're eating. And this dairy is a big thing that is always promoted as giving you what you need. You know, just like saying um, being a vegetarian, you're not getting the protein when the your dark leafy greens, many of your vegetables, your lentils, your legumes, um, your peas, those things have just as much protein, if not more, than your meat products, especially depending on what the animals are eating. Many of the animals that we're eating eat the grass, right? They have a more vegetarian type um, food plan than you would think. So keep in mind what your food source is, where your foods are coming from. Are they clean sources? Are these animals or products full of genetically modified um, products or antibiotics or different types of medication because the animal was sick before they died. Just because they cut out the infected parts of the animal and sell what would be good, how long was that infection in the animal? Because it spreads throughout the body of the animal. And I'm going into something else. So we're going to stop. I just wanted us to get in mind to take care of our bodies for autumn. Let you know we'll be doing our autumn uh, cleanse shortly. By the end of the month, we'll have more information that we can share. And definitely keep in mind the foods and the water that we recommended. So take care of yourselves. Stay well. Stay out of places that you know someone may be sick because a lot of times people are sick and they think they have to come out because of whatever reason, but really they don't. So be wise, be mindful. If you're sick, stay home and take care of yourself until you feel better, especially if you know that you're contagious. Don't be out making others sick. So as always, I'm Natasha L. Brown for New Peace Wellness. Just wanted to encourage you and to remind you to possess wellness daily. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. And thank you so much for joining.